everybody. My name is Mark Hanchett. I'm the founder and CEO here at Alice Motor Vehicles. And I'm Annie Pratt. I'm the president. And today is the day we are revealing the XT prototype. But I think before we get ahead of ourselves and we jump into that, it's important to reflect on sort of the journey that we've gone through to get here. Absolutely. I mean, a couple of years ago, none of this really existed. I mean, we had the XP platform and pieces in your garage. And last year, a year and a half ago, actually, we moved into this particular facility. Yep. And since then, though, we've made a lot of accomplishments. Uh, last year, we did the first public debut of battery technology charging in less than nine minutes. Yep. And we repeatedly do that. We do that today, all the time. All the time. Mm -hmm. And by leveraging what we learned from those tests and from those demonstrations, we took that technology and we actually built the world's first AMV cell back in June of this particular year. That's a big accomplishment for us. Right, and we've also made progress on the XP platform. So we now have a true plug and play modular XP platform that ultimately got built into the XT truck. A, a vehicle that really is built for purpose, right? right. It's built for work. Right. And what's also kind of interesting is our unconventional approach here, but what's super interesting is what we've done from a business perspective. Right, so not only have we made all these development milestones, but we've also secured over $2.98 billion in reservations for the XT truck. And since the debut of the AMV cell in June of this year, we've actually generated over $300 million in signed commitments for battery cells and pack solutions starting in six months, six right. to nine 2022, months. 2022, we're talking about revenue on battery cells and packs. Which is unconventional for a vehicle. Right. But then on top of that, right, for the XT, even more progress there. We've got 19,000 trucks going to Australia through 2025 in our most recent sort of announcement with Australian manufactured vehicles. So over the last year and a half, we've made a tremendous amount of progress mm -hmm. and we couldn't necessarily have done that without our investors. Absolutely. They're, they're really what embodies sort of Atlas as a company, right, as a mission. We took a very unconventional approach to raising money and our investors not only represent our customer base, but they represent believers, followers right. in the company. Right, absolutely. And you know, we think about these investors, they believed in the mission and the vision of what we were doing. And it's important to sort of talk through, okay, why are we doing this? Why are we building batteries and platforms and trucks? We're not your Ford and GM. We're not a Tesla, right? No. We, we, we don't even have desires to be like that. Right. We really wanted to do something that was different. Right. And when I started this company, it did start with the idea of building a pickup truck, but it, it sort of grew beyond that. I, I took that idea of doing an electric pickup truck and thought, what else can we do? How can we make that big leap forward, right? If we're gonna make this electrification thing work, it has to be a leap forward, it can't be a leap backwards. Right. And it has to make our lives better, and what better part of the market to do that in than work? I mean, work has been this consistent sort of focus for us from the very beginning, and we know that people who use trucks for work they don't care about the overpriced, fancy sort of trim packages. What they're looking for is form over function. They, they need a truck that's designed to do what trucks are meant to do, right? It needs to tow, it needs to haul, it needs to haul 35,000 pounds, it needs to do that over long distances. And it also needs to give us our time back, right? It can't necessarily require compromise. Absolutely. And that's really at the heart of the AMV cell and the battery technology that we're developing. Um, and that then goes into the XP platform, which then goes into the pickup truck. Right, right. So when we're talking about the XT, I mean, it's really built to do whatever gets thrown at it. And so should we check it out? We should. Let's go look. All right, let's dive into the features of the XT pickup truck. We're going to start at the bottom. We're going to start with that platform, the XP platform. That's what powers the XT pickup truck. That's what contains the Atlas AMV cell technology. That's what also contains some of the other pieces of technology that we're developing here in the drive modules and drive systems. Those things that give us great performance when it comes to towing and hauling, high efficiency, but also fantastic ground clearance for those conditions that a lot of pickup truck drivers find themselves in. Now, of course, inside that platform is the Atlas battery cell technology. That's that technology that allows us to charge the vehicle in 15 minutes. That's encompassed or made up of the AMV cell, the product that we're actually launching towards the end of this year. That represents that $300 million in opportunity that we have next year as well. Now, in order to charge the vehicle in 15 minutes, we needed to develop a charging port or a charging solution that would allow us to do that. So right here, 
towards the back by the driver's side door, we have the Atlas AAC. That is that advanced charging technology, that 1.5 megawatt system. We're actually inventing that technology here at Atlas Motor Vehicles. We had to create it. There was a problem. We developed battery technology to charge in 15 minutes. We had to develop the charging technology to do that. This is a product that we'll be launching over the next, or towards the end of next year, as we start rolling out XP platforms and XT pickup trucks. Now, of course, we also wanted to think about the rest of the network that's out there. As Atlas continues to grow, as we continue to expand, we wanted to make sure that you had other charging options or some more readily available ones as we continue to grow our own particular charging network. And so up front here, we've actually incorporated a CCS charging port. This is a CCS 2.0 system, which means we can use 1.0 char uh, CCS 1.0 systems as well as 2.0. It also encompasses the J1772 standard. So this will actually allow you to plug your vehicle in at home to those 120 volt and 240 volt outlet systems. So you can charge it from a wall socket essentially that sits inside your garage. Now, as we move towards the front here of the Atlas XT pickup truck, let's first talk about headlights. Now, we took a very unique approach to headlight design here. We took a sort of modular approach. We build a singular pod with multiple functions that's used four different times in our particular headlight assembly here, as well as a DRL here towards the top that also operates as your turn signal. What's very unique about this headlight assembly is that we can actually customize the patterns or light effects that actually go in there. So as we look at the light bar systems and various other features within the Atlas XT pickup truck, when we think about construction construction vehicles, emergency vehicles that might have to flash blue or red or yellow symbols to alert traffic that they're there, that they're on the side of the road, we can actually incorporate that into the DRL systems here. When we think about the projector bulbs and the DRL systems and the pod lights down towards the bottom, we start thinking about active headlight control. So think about when you're going down the road and an oncoming car is coming towards you and you want to be able to keep your high beams off to the right while turning those off on the left hand side so you don't block that oncoming driver will over the next several years those features will become available and these headlights will allow us to enable those different sort of fields of view um, through software upgrades over time and towards the center here we're looking at the atlas frunk it was very important for us from a functional standpoint that we developed a frunk solution that is functional. It needed to have the most space available than any other pickup truck that's either coming to market on the market today or is going to be on the market in the next several years. That was super important for us. And when we think about work trucks, we think about functional space inside there. We think about features. We think about building out things that actually drive value for our end customers. The first thing I want you to note here is the tremendous amount of space that's inside here. You can fit toolboxes, tool systems. You can even fit five gallon buckets of material, whether it's paint, plaster, or something else, those sort of materials that you might take to a job site. If you use this as a consumer vehicle, of course, you can carry your groceries, your personal belongings, all of that stuff is locked inside here. But this is a tremendous amount of space inside. And of course, we have these interior lights here to illuminate the space, whether it's a work environment or you're using it for personal reasons. But another key aspect of this is power within the front. So up front here, we have a dedicated 240 volt 50 amp circuit, as well as 220 volt 20 amp circuits. These are both dedicated systems, which means they're independent from the rest of the vehicle. This gives you enough power to operate your tools, um, whether it's a saw, drill systems, things like that. But think about operating a welder. Think about bringing the job site, or sorry, the sort of workshop to the job site. So think about all those different things you might want to do when you're out in the field, when you're building something, maybe you're working in agriculture, working out on the farm in the field. You have access to power to power all of your different tools and systems. And of course, you have onboard air here um, provided right up front, which again is independent from the rear system that's located in the bed. Now, as we move across or down towards the side here, you'll notice one of the key features for Atlas is a digital camera system. We have no mirrors on the vehicle here. Atlas is incorporating new camera systems, new digital systems to provide you with better fields of view, greater visibility, as well as additional features that can actually improve safety when operating this vehicle, whether it's in a trailer mode or whether it's just driving down the road and you've got a heavy load in the back. We can provide you with advanced information about the vehicles next to you, the lane next to you, or maybe even approaching vehicles as they come up from behind. Now, as we look up towards the top here, 
This is another unique feature for Atlas. I don't know about you, I grew up in the Midwest. I remember when it's snowy outside, when it's dirty outside, I'm constantly filling that windshield wiper fluid. So we actually incorporated a cap and a cover solution that's external. So we don't have to actually open the front and expose some of the things that are inside there to the environment. Um, when we're filling up the windshield wiper fluid, there's actually a port up top here, it's lockable, and you have direct access to fill that up. It's a very helpful feature, at least in those particular states where you might use that stuff quite often. You might refill it quite often. And as we move back here, we also think about some of those other aspects of living in some of the northern states there. When I think about handles, I think about snow and ice. I remember the days when the side of the vehicle was covered in a sheet of ice and you had to really grab that door handle, right, and pull on that thing to yank it open. It could sometimes be a little bit tough. The door handles here of the Atlas XT are designed, one, to fit a big gloved hand inside there. We know it gets cold. We know you might be on a job site. You might be wearing gloves. It's important that we facilitated the ability to reach in there with that, with those gloved hands or your bare hand, grab the thing, but also it's super important that you can actually grab it and yank it open. So if that thing happens to stick, you've got some ice here on the side of the truck or covering the doors, maybe it's trying to lock it in place, it's super important that you had a nice solid handle you can grab and yank that door open with. Now, as we move towards the back here, I want you to look down a little bit, and you notice this big, long step that runs the length of the vehicle. You could actually stand from one tire, walk all the way around the vehicle, all the way around to the other side, and gain access to the roof of the vehicle, the front of the vehicle, or anywhere on the bed in one continuous operation. We actually incorporated that step into the frame and the structure of the XP platform. That serves dual purposes, but one, it creates this very unique feature is that step runs all the way from the front to the back and gives you continuous access. If you want to step up here into the bed of your vehicle, you put one tire here or one foot on the tire here, you can reach into the back of the bed and it's a very easy process to accomplish that. Now, as we roll towards the back, I first want to focus on the tail lights of the XT pickup truck. These are LED illuminated tail lights. They can flash both amber and red lights, depending on where you are or which region you're at in the world and which one is actually required. But what's more important about this is what that also brings to the table, which is extended functionality. We think work crews, we think construction, we think roadside crews, or we think emergency response vehicles, I think about being able to flash amber lights while you're on the side of the road to notify drivers that you're there, or red and blue lights for emergency response vehicles that are sitting on the side of the road. Um, for those particular aspects where that becomes super important and they wanna notify other drivers that they're there from a safety perspective, or perhaps future capabilities that we haven't yet thought of yet, that'll all be softer upgradable. As we look towards the bottom here, you have your backup sort of white LED light. That's an indicator that the vehicle is going in reverse. We've actually added a projector towards the center here. This increases the functionality and capability of the XT pickup truck. When we think about backing up to hook up to trailers or backing up into tight spots or dark spaces, having the ability to press a button on the center console and the display there to add a projection to the rear of the vehicle to illuminate what's behind you creates increased capability as well as safety. Um, when we start doing some of those more complex operations that we typically expect from a pickup truck perspective. Now we think about the bed of the XT pickup truck. Let's start with the bed itself. It's currently coated with a spray-in bed liner. All XT pickup trucks will have a spray-in bed liner coating here. We think about durability, we think about ruggedness. We always start with this particular solution here in a spray-in bed liner. That will be standard on every single XT pickup truck that is sold. We have LEDs illuminating from both sides of the bed here, so you have increased visibility back here, especially when working in darker areas. But what's also important to note back here is the independent 240 volt and 120 volt outlet. So you have a 240 volt 50 amp outlet back here, as well as 220 volt 20 amp outlets that are isolated or dedicated outlets for the back that are independent from the front. So you could have an individual operating a welder or tools or equipment up front, and you could also have the same thing happening in the rear. You can have two different individuals working at a job site, leveraging those outlets to operate their particular tools, and they can be doing it independent from each other. You could have a welder up front and a welder in the rear. You also have independent air access back here that'll allow you to use so, uh, small air tools, air up tires, as well as various other different applications that is, again, independent from the front up there towards uh, the front area. 
Now, let's talk about the interior of the XT pickup truck. We think form over, or we think function over form. We think about all of the different pieces or aspects of the interior that we could put in here without adding some of the flair and the flashiness, but still keeping it somewhat elegant and still a little bit sexy here as we climb in. Now, the first thing you'll notice as we climb in here to the XT pickup truck is the two displays that are up here on the dash. Remember earlier I talked about those digital camera systems on both the left and right hand side and the fact that we don't have mirrors on the side of the XT pickup truck. Those two camera systems, which are by the way are heated so they don't ice up in the winter. They're also cooled so they don't get too hot and they maintain performance. But as we think about um, displaying that information, a lot of the times companies will put them on the, the A pillar on the far ends there. And what that creates is this situation where while you're focused in front of you, you have to drift your vision over to the right hand side and really focus on something. We wanted to make sure that we put these in the appropriate place so it created the least amount of time for you to basically go from what's in front of you, look down, check your blind spots, check the lane next to you. You could actually look and see if there's a car approaching very, very quickly. Future analytics and the software and capabilities here will actually tell you if a car is approaching too quickly so you don't accidentally cut someone off. But what's super important is while I'm looking forward, I can very quickly glance to the left-hand side or the driver's side, very quickly glance to the right hand side or the passenger side, look back up. It takes a fraction of the time that you typically spend looking in your two mirror systems on the driver's side and passenger side of the vehicle. Now up here above the steering wheel, we've got our center display. This provides you with all that pertinent information that you need while driving down the road. It's your speed, your current range, um, current conditions of the vehicle as well as some features and a couple of other things there in terms of infotainment capability but it's mounted right to the steering wheel so no matter where the steering wheel actually sits whether it's up or down inside here you always have a very clear vision as to where everything is at now here in the center display here, we've got all of our basic functionalities. You've got some messages, you've got infotainment, you have your daily schedule as we look to deploy fleet operations and fleet capabilities that are maybe tied to your calendar and where you're gonna be traveling to. You've also got some other basic functionalities here as you swipe to the left here on the left-hand side of the screen, we actually open up your HVAC control. So everything here in Atlas really is focused on simplicity, the minimum number of touches to get to any particular operation. As we look here, we can turn headlights on and off. We can actually deploy those mirrors or retract those mirrors on the side of the vehicle with a single touch. So that's super important when we think about trailering systems. And if you look at the um, video systems up front here, you'll notice that as those mirrors extend, it increases that visibility. So we can see around those trailers behind us. We can adjust our heating and cooling systems right here from the touch screen. And of course, we can swipe all of that back with a very simple touch of the display. So everything is within one to two touches in order to facilitate functionality. We can also do the same thing from the right hand side. Again, we can access your HVAC heating and cooling systems as well as your seat heater and seat cooling systems from the right hand side. Now, of course, we swipe down from the top. We've got more increased functionality here. We got access to your interior lights, your halo lights, your exterior lights, your front lights, your bed lights, as well as those light bar systems that are actually at the top of the vehicle. There's one light bar system in the front of the vehicle which projects out from the windshield. There's also a separate light bar system from the rear of the vehicle that projects rearward. Those create increased capability. Not only can they project forward and increase illumination in front of you, um, but they can also do multiple different other functionalities. Right now they're set up with the markers because we're a wider vehicle. We can display text up there. We can flash different light combinations up there depending on your particular use case. All of that, of course, is controlled right here from the center console. Now, if you look at the rest of the interior in here, you notice it's simplistic. The dash is simplistic, the floor is flat. It creates a tremendous amount of space, a tremendous amount of comfortable space to fit six adults inside here. You'll also notice that the front and rear seats, they're identical as well. Here at Atlas Motor Vehicles, we've tried to find a way to build one thing and use it multiple times. In this particular case, what we wanted to do was actually fix one of the least desirable things in any pickup truck. The rear seat, it's always a bench seat. It's not always the most comfortable thing to sit in. We know this is a work truck. We know sometimes these guys are gonna be spending hours out there in the field or, or driving to a particular site or location. 
We wanted to make sure that while they're sitting in those seats, they had the most comfortable seats possible. So we actually have a 40-20-40 split with a flip-up center console for a third person in both rows and they're identical both front and rear. Front and rear seats are powered, front and rear seats have all of the same capability. So everybody sits comfortably inside the vehicle. And that's really at the heart of everything that we do here. It's, it's sort of, it's that idea of function over form. We drive simplicity in everything that we do here. Now, the last thing I want to point out is the steering wheel system. Up here on the front here, in the prototype, we don't have them in here quite yet, but we have capacitive touch functions here that'll interact directly with the display that sits above the steering wheel. But on the back side here, we have a very unique approach to trailer brake systems. Typically in a trailer brake system, you have a secondary squeeze button or something that's away from the steering wheel. It means you have to take your hands off the steering wheel, reach down to squeeze that particular system or adjust settings from that particular system. With this unique approach with these paddles on the back side, if you're towing a trailer, these operate as your trailer brake controllers, which means while you can push on the brake to engage the trailer brakes as you naturally would when you're trying to stop, you can separately control the brakes on the rear of the vehicle by squeezing these pedals in and applying brake pressure to the trailer only. That's used in some of those emergency conditions, right? Or those situations where you're trying to control sway back there, or perhaps you wanna use the trailer itself to slow yourself down versus using the vehicle brake systems or regen systems. This gives you that capability to do that without bringing your hands away from the steering wheel so you can maintain control as you're driving down the road. Now let's jump out here and talk really quick about the doors inside the Atlas XT. So all four doors are identical in terms of functionality and capability. Each one of them has window and lock controls. In the armrest here, there's a push button down here to release the door that's identical in all four doors so everyone knows how to get in and out regardless of where they're sitting in the vehicle. But what's also very unique is this large storage system in the bottom of the door here. This can carry large water bottles, it can carry laptops, tools, equipment, anything that you actually want to put inside here um, that's, that can fit inside here. It's a very large storage space and it's capable of holding a large number of different things and you can add accessories in here or various different features um, that suit your particular needs. Now the last thing I want to point out about the interior of the Atlas XT pickup truck is the versatility we've built in by using a common seating system inside the vehicle. All six seats inside the vehicle can be quickly removed and detached. One that makes it easier to pull them out and clean them off. But what's also an added feature is with that big flat floor that we have back here, you can take the rear seats out and you can mount toolbox systems, accessory systems. Perhaps you don't need those rear seats. You need to be able to put some storage systems back there. All of that is capable um, of being mounted back here and it's very, very simple, very, very straightforward and very easy to remove those seat systems. And of course, those seats can be transferred to the front or anywhere else within the vehicle where they can be mounted. There it is, Yeah. right? The prototype XT pickup truck. We've been working on this for years. This idea of building this prototype with a new approach to technology, a new approach to the different features and everything that's inside of it, this thing has all of that in there, but that means it's just a prototype today. So when we look to production, it's just gonna get better from here. Absolutely, I can't wait to start seeing these actually on the road, but more importantly, the farms, the construction sites, the mines where it really belongs. Yeah, it, I mean, Atlas is all about getting shit done, right? We're building a company with a purpose, focused on work, focused on the construction worker, the, the farmer, right, the miner, right. those that are use a pickup truck like this for a purpose. Absolutely, and with that being said, there's still time to join the ride here at Atlas. Our ICF campaign is two days left. So invest in electric built for work. Invest in Atlas today.